Hi guys, um, Yam Yam Dreams Reviewer here. Uh, as I said, over the coming weeks and months, years, I'm going to be doing different things, uh, not just reviewing beer. Today, um, Sunday afternoon, nothing better to do, I'm going to make some turbo cider. If you like a bit of cider. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Normal ingredients, you've got your apple, which is the main ingredient to your cider. And it must be um, pure fruit juice made from concentrate. Make sure it's got made from concentrate on it. So you're gonna need four liters of those. Tesco's, I think it's three pound 30 for four, and they come in a large pack of four. You're gonna need your Vimto, pound the bottle, five years. So we're up to four pound 30. And that's the ingredients. Um, the other little thing you'll need is some yeast. So I've actually got the cider yeast. You can use you can use other yeasts, but it doesn't really matter. But yeah, I've opted for cider yeast this time because that's what I had lying around. And then for that, you need yeah, let's go for the demijohn. Five litre demijohn. Um, it doesn't have to be glass. You can use uh, plastic five litre tubs, whatever you've got. These can be picked up on marketplace, next to nothing, a couple of quid up to a fiver per demi joint. You might even know somebody that's got some in the garage, ask them, I might give them here. So yeah, five litres of that. Oh, temperature, just so as you know what temperature is um, during the brewing stage. So we've got that. Here's your airlock, which you sit on top, and your funnel, see that's filled with nothing, and a knife. So yeah, that is all you need to make 9% cider, something like that. I'm not quite sure what it comes out of, but it's strong. So yeah, um, right. first thing, the most important thing to making this is cleanliness. Make sure you clean, sanitise everything. Once you've sanitised it, sanitise it again. Um, your airlock, sanitise water in there. Sanitise every, everything, just keep it clean. You don't want your beer dying bad. And um, that, that's pretty much it. So let's crack on with the cider making bit. Okay, and so apple juice goes in first. So because this has been sanitised, I've just covered it with some pot, stop anything going inside it. So I'll take that off. You want to get your apple juice. Open that. The knife, there's an hole in it so it doesn't glug when you're pouring it out. And fill your bottles. Right, now you've got three litres of your apple juice in there. What you're going to want to do now is get your yeast. You can use half a pack of yeast. As long as there's some yeast going in, it doesn't matter. Um, I'm just going to chuck the full pack in here. Just because I can. So, get the yeast. Pour that in there. And then you're gonna rim tail. There is 35% extra free um, in this bottle, so I'll just leave a, a bit in the bottom. I'll pull the full bottle in. But if you're using a litre bottle, just put the litre in. As you pour in, making sure it's getting all that yeast that's in your funnel out. Juice, don't put all of it in. I normally just fill it to the bottom of the bin there so you 
when it starts fermenting and the yeast starts eating the sugars, obviously you'll have a reaction, there'll be gases and foaming. You just want to leave a bit of a gap, and then once that all dies down, and then you can, you can top it back up with your apple juice, or right to the top then. But I just want to get it just above the rim. Okay, so that's where I'll take mine to. Rest of your apple juice, put it in the fridge. Keep that nice and fresh. Okay then, again, my hands are clean and sanitised. Hand over it, pick it up, give it a good old shake about, get the yeast moving. Get the body working. What's that? And what you want to do then? Put your airlock in. And there you have it. In about two to three weeks, it'll be lovely, beautiful, rim toe cider. So yeah, I've actually got some that I made a few weeks back um, in my Cook Sub Compact Cups. So I will show you. I have got a drive later. My glasses there. I have got a drive later, so I'm not going to have a lot. But the finished item will look kind of that way. In, it is strong, it's about 9% I think. Okay, so I've got it. Beautiful. So yeah, thanks for watching again guys. Uh, please like, subscribe. I will do a follow up video uh, with bottling, etc. And um, I might even throw a few photos on the Facebook group if you're on there. Just how it, it's working um, over the next few weeks. But yeah, thanks and cheers. <laughs>